टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन प्रॉब्लम अबाउट द मिसिंग एंट्री हियर इज वन प्रॉब्लम द फॉलोइंग रिकॉर्ड्स आर ऑप्टेन इन द ट्रेवल सर्वे वेयर द लेंथ एंड बेरिंग ऑफ अ लास्ट लाइन वेयर नॉट रिकॉर्डेड मीन्स इट इज वन सर्वे एंट्री वन देर आर द लाइन ए बी बी सी सी डी एंड ए मीन्स इट इज अ क्लोज ट्रेवल्स एंड the length and bearing of a line ab bc and cd is given and length and bearing of last line is missing and we have to find it out so how to can we find it out we have to compute one table for that we have considered one table that is line length and bearing and we have to calculate the latitudes and departure of each line and we will submit we will sum up it that the, the as per uh, the rule summation of latitude and summation of departure for a close traverse should be zero okay and we will assume some values here for the line uh, da for length uh, l and bearing will assume something and then by calculation we can find it out what is the length and bearing of the line da so here see first step in the solution we have done that see here the length is given for three lines and bearings of the for first three lines is given and last line data is missing okay so we here we are assuming let l be the length of line da and theta be the radius bearing of line da and then we'll prepare one table here i have already prepared that table line length and bearing then radius bearing theta latitude and departure okay for computing latitude and departure we need Reduce bearing. Okay, so what is the first step? In first step, we have to convert this bearing into the reduced bearing. So, what is the bearing for line AB? Is a 30 degree 24 minutes. So, what will be the reduced bearing? Okay, bearing. You know that bearing means angle measured with respect to north in clockwise direction. So here the angle is 30 degree 24 minutes. Means line AB is lying in the First quadrant only. That is north east. So here the bearing, what is the bearing of uh, line AB will be the north, this 30 degree 24 minute, and east. Okay. What is the difference of radius bearing? The bearing of a line measured with respect to north or south, whichever is nearer towards the east or west. Okay. So here the bearing of line that is. Angle which is within north in clockwise direction, bearing of line AB is 34 degree, sorry, 30 degree 24 minute. Okay, so it is nearer to north. Okay, it it is nearer to north and towards east. So we are measuring its bearing at the north 30 degree 24 minute east. So here we can write it as north 30 degree 24 minute east. Okay, now we will convert this one one zero ten degree thirty six minutes. Okay, here see this bearing of a line BC is one one zero degree here north here south is okay one one zero degree thirty six minutes. So one one zero degree thirty six minutes means bearing with respect to north is clockwise line in clockwise direction. So this value is one one zero degree thirty six minutes. Okay. So now we have to find out its quadrantal bearing. So this line is nearer to the north or south. It is nearer to the south. Okay. So and is it towards east or towards west? It is towards east. So radius bearing of this line is is this one. Okay, and how we how can we calculate that value? That is, this total is 180 degrees, so we we can calculate this value as 180 degree minus 110 degree 36 minutes, and quadrant will be the south. That value is okay. So you can calculate it. So here yeah, you can write it directly: 69 degree and 24 minutes. And what is the quadrant? South east. The so quadrant is south east. Got it? Like that, we can calculate the quadrantal bearing for the next line. 
Okay, so here again, uh, bearing, what is bearing of line CD? 210 degree, 30 minute. So with respect to north in clockwise direction, we have 180 degree, 210. Our line is here, this is line CD. And what is the bearing? 210 degree and 30 minutes. Okay, so this line is nearer to the north or nearer to the south? It is nearer to the south. Okay, and Okay, it is near to the south and towards east or west, it is towards west. So, quadrantal bearing of this line will be this way. South, south, theta, west, south. And this, how, how can we calculate this value? Complete this 210 degree 30 minutes minus this 180. So, we will get this angle. So, what is the value for this? It will, it, we can calculate like 210 degree 30 minutes minus 180 degree okay that will get 30 degree and 30 minutes okay so here value is 30 degree and 30 minutes and what is the quadrant quadrant is south west south west okay got it so what is the first step converting Whole circle varies to reduce bearing. Okay, then we know this is uh, this is theta. Now we don't know quadrant of our last line. Okay, so let it be. Then we will calculate one by one latitude and departure of each line. So latitude of line is how can you calculate? It is what is the latitude? It is L cos theta. Okay, so it is we will get 75.5 into cos of 30 degree 24 minute ok and what is the departure of line EB? it is 75.5 that is L into sine of 30 degree and 24 minutes ok calculate it its value is coming here 65 is equal to 65.12 and here it is 38.21 okay and what is the sign our line is in north east quarter so that will be towards north so plus and departure is towards east so it is also plus so by calculating this value, we, we are going to get this value. Okay, similarly, we can calculate latitude and departure for the next line. Next line is BC. How can we calculate its latitude? 180.5 into cos of 69 degree 24 minutes. 69 degree 24 minutes. And here, calculate that value and departure will be again. 180 L L is 180.5 180.5 into sin of what is the angle 69 degree 24 minutes 69 degree and 24 minutes ok calculate that values again for line CD what is the L 60.25 into cos of 30 degree 30 minute cos of 30 degree 30 minute calculate this value and again departure will be 60.25 into sin of 30 degree and 30 minute calculate this value and last line is DA, DA for, for DA what will be the latitude latitude will be L cos theta and what will departure for line DA? That is, it is, it is L sin theta. Here we have calculated the values. So what is the sign for this? It is south east. So latitude is towards south. So our latitude will be negative. And departure is towards east. So departure will be 
positive here next line for line CD our uh, radius bearing is south theta west it is directed towards south so its value is negative this value is negative and here again west departure is west so its value is also negative ok so here we have recorded latitude and departure for each line we have calculated latitude and departure for each line now this traverse is closed so what is the condition for closed traverse summation of all these latitude must be 0 and summation of all these departure must be 0 so we will write it down in a closed traverse the algebraic sum of latitude and departure we can write it like that must be 0 so we can sum up this see that is so 65.12 minus 63.51 minus 51.91 plus this L cos theta is given getting 0 by solving this 65 plus 1 to minus 63 1 minus uh, 51.91 plus L cos theta we will get L cos theta is equal to 50.3 by solving this equation and again plus, uh, by adding 38.21 plus 168.95 minus 30.6 plus L sin theta equal to 0 it is summation of departure must be 0 we can get this L sin theta as a minus 176.56 by solving this ok so here you can observe here we are getting L cos theta that is latitude of line DA as a 50.3 and we are getting departure for line DA as a minus 176.5 ok here the value is plus here the minus so latitude is plus departure is minus from that we can decide the quadrant for line DA ok so it is plus latitude means quadrant is here not latitude is positive and departure is negative so quadrant is west so our line DA is lying in northwest quadrant now we have to determine the length of this line DA and angle so how can we determine it so by dividing 2 by 1 that is L sin theta by L cos theta we are getting 176 we, have, we don't have to consider this side that is 176.56 divided by 50.3 then we, we are getting here a value as a tan theta is equal to 3.51 sin theta of cos theta L L is cancel that is sin theta of cos theta is tan theta tan theta is equal to 3.5101 and theta then we can calculate as a tan inverse of 3.5101 so, by taking tenuous, we are getting the value of theta as a 74 degree 5 minutes. Okay, so here we can write, uh, write it as a bearing of line DA is here the quadrant is north west, north 74 degree 5 minute west. Okay, got it. How do we calculate it? this theta that is sine upon cos that is by taking 10, 10 of uh, theta and we then we are taking after taking 10 inverse we are getting the bearing of a line d now next step is to calculate the distance we know that for if there is any line okay latitude is this one and departure is this one okay it is making a right angle triangle so if we have to calculate this length of line d a line d a then we have, this is latitude and this is departure and this is the this is nothing but the hypotenuse so by applying by applying Pythagoras theorem we can calculate length of DA as a under root of D square plus L square ok so we have done the here same the distance D is equal to under root of latitude square that is 50.3 plus departure square and here we are getting the value of line DA as a 183.58 ok so if there is any missing entry problem we have to first find it out it's, uh, if, if the reduced bearing is not given first step is we have to convert bearing whole circle bearing to the reduced bearing then we have to find out latitude and departure then we know that for the close traverse summation of latitude should be 0 and summation of departure must be 0 so by calculating it we can write it as a for a close traverse uh, we will get one equation then uh, in that we will get one value as L cos theta and as a L sin theta there we will get two equations then dividing 2 by 1 we can calculate it we can convert it as a tan theta and we can find out the theta angle theta that is reduced bearing of line D then by using Pythagoras theorem we can calculate length of that line 
by taking under root of latitude square plus departure square latitude square plus departure square we are getting the length of that line okay so calc so try this problem solve this problem and you can solve the similar problem